evening, viewers. By the grace of God, I have come to you and your home again tonight. I am Pastor Emmanuel Asarbedu from Arise for Christ Jesus Ministries in Amsterdam. All these years, all these months, all these weeks, and the days past, I've been talking to you or reaching you in your home with a message, Think About Heaven. Today, too, we're going to talk shortly about heaven or think about heaven. You must think about heaven. Don't let someone think about heaven for you because we are not thinking about heaven. All things are going on in our lives, though we call ourselves Christians, but it, it cannot be compared to the word Christian. Let us go to the Bible immediately and read from 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 down. I read, Now the Spirit expressly say that in later times some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their own conscience sealed with a hot iron, forbidden to marry, and commanding to abstain from foods which God created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good, and nothing is to be refused if it is received with thanksgiving, for it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. The Bible says in the book of Timothy, first, chap first Timothy chapter 4, I read. It was the apostle who had the revelation of God. And God revealed himself to him and God revealed many things to him. The apostle was thinking about heaven and he thought about heaven. And because he was thinking about heaven and thought about heaven, God opened heavenly revelation and gave it to him. In 2 Corinthians chapter 12, the, the Bible says, the apostle was preaching, or he was writing a letter, he says, I knew a man about 14 years ago, whether in the flesh or in the spirit, I do not know. And he said, this man was caught up in the heaven, in the heavens, in the third heavens. And a big revelation was given unto him. And the things he saw, he cannot explain or express himself with. He said even he has not been allowed to explain this things. It means he was thinking about heaven whereby God saw his heart. God saw his thought. God knew his mind. And the spirit of God came and took his spirit away and sent him to paradise and showed him mysteries. And these are some of the mysteries which he saw and wrote. And he said, Now the Spirit expressly say that in the later times some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. There are now doctrine of demons. There are some pastors they call themselves to be, of which I see that they are not. They are from the devil because they are giving evil doctrines. They are teaching things that is not of God. Their teachings cannot be compared to anything concerning the kingdom of God. They only teach people the things of the flesh, the things of the world, and how to uh, 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 um, grab things. It is the demon's doctrine. The apostle said, because the devil himself, if you could remember last week or last two weeks, I said it, that the devil himself preached to Jesus after his fasting. 
in Matthew chapter 24, and in, sorry, in Matthew chapter 4, and in Luke chapter 4, that look, these are the things of the world. Have a look at it. And I will give to anyone that I want. If you only bow to me. It is the doctrine of demons. It is the doctrine of the devil himself. The devil preached. So don't let somebody deceive you that the devil doesn't speak. Tell him that Pastor Emmanuel says the devil speaks. Because it is in the Bible. Matthew chapter 4. It is there and Luke chapter 4. It, is there. it says, and the devil said, that means the devil was preaching. He even preached and quoted from the book of Psalms that the Bible says, if you would throw yourself down, he has charged angels to hold you in their palm so that you will not dash your feet against the stone. The devil quoting Jesus, that means the devil preaches. That's what the Bible says, many are coming these days they are not focusing on heaven. They are focusing on the things of the world. All their mind is about the world, the world, the world. How you get this? How you get that? How you get this? How you get that? It is demonic preaching. Somebody will say, is the pastor against prosperity? No, I am not. Because the Bible even says itself that, brethren, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in good health. Even as thy soul prospers, so I also accept uh, 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 prosperity. And King David also preached and said, Yea, though I walk through the valley, valleys of shadow, I walk through the valleys of shadow, the shadows of death, but I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. He kept on preaching and said, Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. So, in Christianity, prosperity is also inclusive. It is attached. But, here are demons preaching. And, gradually, I will be coming to those who call themselves men of God, of which they are not. And those who say they are prophets but have not been sent from God. Demon preachers. They preach and they put fear in people. They preach and they divide families. They preach and they destroy churches. They preach and they divide people, couples. Demonic preachers. Because the Bible is saying that at the end time, they will come. They don't think about heaven. They don't talk about heaven. They don't preach the name of Jesus. They don't talk about the blood of Jesus. I, let, me, let me say this clearly and vividly to someone who is hearing me. If you go to a program, if you go to a crusade or any, any program, they may call it church program. Be watchful. Open your eye and open your mind and open your heart clearly and listen. If the preaching goes on for many hours, many days, and you don't hear the name Jesus being, being, being called or being preached about or being announced, if you don't hear anything about the blood of Jesus, if you don't hear anything about salvation, if you don't hear anything about the kingdom of God, about heaven, then such crusade, I will advise you, don't go there anymore. Because it is about the things of the world. About the things of the world. And if it goes on and on and on, then you hear that your mother is a witch. He, she doesn't want you to prosper. Your father is the chief demon. He may be killing you the next two weeks. Sex sex. Such, such, such words, such, such preachings. The Bible calls it demonic doctrine. Tell somebody like that, as you hear me, the Bible says, I will not die, but I will live. And declare the works of the Lord. The Bible says, he who lives in me is greater than he who 
is in the world. The Bible says that Christ in me is the hope of glory. The Bible says, I have given you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions, and nothing shall by enemies hurt you. The Bible says, yet yeah, though they come against me like a flood, but the spirit of the living God will raise a standard against them. So who is telling you that you are going to die the next two weeks? If they have seen and have known that you are going to die the next two weeks, then they must do something about that. If it is not, then work it out and check it well. Demonic doctrines are coming up these days. So says the apostle. The, the Bible says the apostle was caught up in heaven and he had a revelation. John, the revelator, also had a revelation. The Bible says, and in the day of the Lord, he was caught up in the spirit. And his eye opened and saw that Jesus was in front of him. And he gave him many things and told him that right, what you see and what you are about to see, for they are true and put them in the books. And blessed is he who read the book of this revelation. He was caught up in heavens. Why? Because he thought about heaven. He was thinking about Jesus. Let me finish with Psalm 1. Psalm 1 says, Blessed is the person who think about the word of God, who meditate upon the word of God day and night. The Bible says he will be like a tree planted by the riverside. His fruits, will, he, he will bear fruits and his leaves will not wither. Brethren, think about heaven. As you sleep, as you walk, as you work, whatever you may be doing, think about heaven. For one day, the Bible says, this earth and the fullness in it will pass away. But the word of God will never, ever pass away. If you think about heaven as all are passing away, you will not pass away with them because heaven is in you. May God bless you. Stay tuned. Some great men of God are here to talk to you also. If you want to call for a prayer or for counseling, my private number from Amsterdam or from Holland is 06-1414-4683. I repeat, 06-1414-4683. And uh, if you want to call the studio now for prayer, that is Majesty Christian TV Network. The number is 020-3374-160. 020-3374-160. If you are calling from outside, it's 00 -3120 -3374 -160. Zero zero three one two zero three three seven four one six zero. Call now and we will pray for you. Call and ask a question or call and make a request and the Lord will be with you. Think about heaven for that is our Christian faith. God bless you. Do for me, Papa,